Hello, welcome to Microsoft Flight Simulator video. I'm Roadkill and today we are going to be flying the Cessna Chancellor from Astoria, Oregon to Portland, Oregon. Looks like we have quite a bit of uh, harsh wind on the runway, so it'll be interesting to see what happens when we take off. Uh, let's get this thing ready to roll here, but before we but before we get started flying, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Also, the notification bell so that you can keep up to date on all my latest videos. Leave a comment down below on where you like to fly and why. I'd love to hear from you. With that all out of the way, let's get to flying. Alright, so I got part of the setup ready here. It's been a while since I've flown. I've been having some, you you, sh you could say, issues with the simulator. I've tried flying after the, the latest update, and it keeps crashing on me mid-flight. So I haven't been able to fly. So we're going to try it again here today to see if I can get her off the ground. And hopefully, I guess I need to turn these on too, huh? Hopefully I can I can get this plane flying without the game crashing on me. But it's been crashing like halfway in the middle of my flights for no reason. So we'll give it a shot here and uh, hopefully I get a video out of it. Feels good to be back in the cockpit, that's for sure. I don't remember the last time I've flown, to be honest with you, but it was a while ago. I've been playing um, American Truck Simulator and Hell Let Loose and a bunch of different games uh, here and there for the past few months since last I've flown, and I figured I'd jump back in here and give this a shot. Try it. Like I said, I tried before and uh, it just crashed. And I, I had some loading issues too. It took forever to load in. And so I just turned the game off and played something else. Uh, this is the first time I've been able to get back into it uh, for a while now. So I'm pretty excited to be doing this. I've missed it a lot. And I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to take off here with this wind on such a short runway, but we're going to give it a give it a go, give it the best we got, and see what happens. So I'm going to line her up here and hit the E brake. Let's see where our trim is. It's right there. And flaps. I can't remember where the flap notch is. I'll just go off of what I'm remembering here. Um, I just realized my avionics aren't on so where are my avionics where are my avionics I got de-ice pilot heat avionics there we go I am going to do pilot heat and that there and I might use de-icer if I need it being the weather's kind of funky out there. I should probably get some lights up a little bit. Actually, they're on already. It seems super dark in the cockpit for some reason. But, uh, I don't know. It's been a while, so we'll just go with the flow and see if I can keep it on the runway as we take off here. Hopefully I have enough airspeed to, to lift off. Oh boy, that wind is something else. All right, don't stall out. Oh, wow. Okay, so yeah, we definitely have some tailwind here. Let's see if we 
can use it to our advantage and turn and let the wind push us. That seemed to work pretty good. So we're just flying out here out of Astoria to Portland, Oregon and uh, trying to make it in one piece since it's been a while. Sure feels good to be flying again though. Now I'm wondering why I, I have my lights on, maybe that's why I need to hit this. There we go. It's like my instruments are dark. I couldn't figure out why. And I've not flown this plane much as it's my newer newer purchased aircraft that uh, I've had for a while that I just haven't flown. So I'm trying to get used to it here. Remember all the ins and outs of flying. Uh, nose down a little. Yeah, we're hitting uh, the, the trim's pretty touchy and the wind makes it a little more difficult to steady out here. We're on a uh, 23 minute flight to Portland, Oregon from Astoria, Oregon. And uh, let's take an outside look. Suppose I could, uh, where are my lights? There they are. Turn the lights off and start flying. Yeah, it looks like a nice overcast day here in Oregon and I'm going to see if we can make it. <coughs> Excuse me. Without biting the bullet getting a hill here. I'm going to kind of fly low just to keep an eye on things. Get some scenery in the, uh, the video rather than just clouds. Do some sightseeing as we fly from Astoria to Portland. I don't know about you all, but I'm excited for the new flight sim to come out. I, uh, I think it'll be pretty fun once, once we get that in. I've been looking forward to a career mode in this game that's not third party, so we'll see if they do that or not. I'm hoping that they do. I forgot to turn the V-Lock off. And that we can buy some airplanes. And fly them from here to there, or helicopters, whatever there is, in a career mode so that we can uh, have a little bit of a challenge outside of just the normal flying which is is a challenge in itself but I think it'd be more rewarding to take a flight and make some money and build a business with it I know there's some hardcore flight simmers that are like this is a flight simulator it's not for that but if you can combine the two into one to where flight simmers can have their flight sim and gamers can have their career mode and it's a perfect balance, I think that would be amazing because I, I like the flight sim part of it, but I also want a career mode so it's like a game as well, if that makes any sense. I'm not hardcore one way or the other, I just like like a mid-balance with more hardcore towards the sim. I don't know if that makes sense, but I like the sim part of it, but I would like a career mode that I can make money and do tasks rather than just planning my flight. I don't know. Leave a comment down below what you think. I'd love to hear from you on that topic, but I'm excited for the career mode and the new simulator that's coming out. 
here in 2024. Wow, just got sunny all of a sudden. Look at that. That is so awesome. Beautiful. We're hitting some turbulence here since we're flying so low. But look at that. It's just beautiful. I love this game. I love this simulator. It's just awesome. I can't wait to see what the next one is uh, like. But, uh, yeah. About six minutes outside of Portland, Oregon, we're flying through some beautiful weather here. And luckily, the uh, sim hasn't crashed yet. Knock on wood. I'm hoping it won't. Uh, we're going to try to do my first landing in a long, long while. And hopefully, I can get there without crashing. So about seven minutes. And I thought it was six minutes. I guess I need glasses. I said it was six minutes, but it's seven minutes. Let's take an outside look here and see what our surroundings look like. Heck yeah, that's that's my screenshot right there. We got we've got a beautiful flight here. The weather I like dynamic weather and just the clouds and the rain and the sun and all the above turbulence. Looks like we have Portland straight ahead there. I think I can see the airport there flashing off in the distance. So we're coming in good. Yeah, that is definitely the the airport. I can see the Columbia River. But look at this, so beautiful. I love how the sun breaks through the clouds and the nasty weather just kind of fades away. I'm gonna take it off autopilot now and just um, do my own kind of fly in here and get lined up with the airport. Yeah, I am, I am loving this flight. This is such a good flight to start off with after being away for so long. Yeah, I, I'm hoping here in the next few years I can have a motion platform so that I can feel like I'm actually in the aircraft and it'll be bobbing me around with the turbulence and all that. It's been my dream since I was a little kid, and I'm actually going to be able to experience it, hopefully before I die. Oh, just had some fog instantly set in. That's due to my uh, poor internet connectivity. Just got an update with the weather. back in here. I'm not sure if that is an airplane to the right or not. I think that might be an airplane. I don't know. Maybe that's the runways. Okay. So that might be the right one runway on the right and the left runway on the left. I'm not calling it in. I'm just going to land. So I'm going to land on the runway on the left. some turbulence there. Okay, I see. So that is not the airport I want on the left. PDX is on the right. That's the small private airport there just uh, next to Fort Vancouver. And we can see the Willamette River directly ahead of us there uh, coming off the Columbia River here to our left and Portland is just to our right with the St. John's Bridge just out of sight there I mean I don't know if you can see it from here or not I don't think you can <coughs> Okay, so now I'm seeing what I'm seeing. 
clearer because the clouds moved off and we have the smaller airport in front of the left airport at PDX so I'm gonna go for the left airport runway at PDX and fly over the smaller airport in front of Fort Vancouver and there you can see Portland off into the distance and hopefully I know well I guess I was kind of worried about my airspeed coming in but being that we're at a large airport and uh, I don't really need to worry about it got a long runway that I can land at um, should be okay with the airspeed Nice view of Portland from this, this angle here. Let's get back in line with the runway. Get our mixture up. Cut our throttle back a bit so that uh, we don't shoot down to the ground like a meteorite. Man, it's been a while. No, I don't want to go that slow. Drop her down to 20. Oh, this trim in this airplane is super touchy. Give her a notch of flaps here to slow us down. Right down there is Fort Vancouver. As you can see there at the airport. I don't remember an airport being there, but I was so young last time I was at Fort Vancouver. I wasn't really looking for airports. I was just excited to go see a historical landmark. Alright, here we go. Let's get some speed up here a little bit. Get us over the Columbia River here. Wind might be an issue here on the landing, so we'll see what happens. Lowering the gear. Just kind of keeping an eye on our speed. We don't want to hit that blue mark, so we'll start stalling. that blue mark right as we're landing. Alright, here we go. brakes here so I can get towards a uh, taxiway without crashing my aircraft that was nice that felt really good to uh, to fly there I'm gonna take this taxiway here that was awesome I need to do this more often now that the game is not crashing on me 
I can actually enjoy this game again, which I am very, very happy about. So I think what I'll do here is I'll take a left. So I am definitely not a large aircraft. I'm a private business liner. I'll just park out this hangar over here and call it a flight. Alright, yeah, we're going to pull right over here. I'm going to park, park right up here and say adios, amigos. Up next to the Cessna. All right, let's shut this bad boy down. And we'll take an outside look here while we're cooling down and have a look at the airport here. Well, thank you for flying with me. That was a lot of fun. We'll have to do some more flights here in the near future. I don't know when the new flight simulators coming out but uh, definitely plan on getting it and when I do we'll do some more flights in that but before that happens I hope you all have a great week or weekend whatever you have ahead of you stay safe and Godspeed